From its naturalistic art style to its writing and intro, Ping Pong the Animation is a masterpiece that seeks to teach us the value of passion, purpose, and hard work. I believe by looking into some of the characters in the show, we can distill information from which to expand our own lives. Hi, my name is Joe. If you're watching this video, chances are you're not yet where you'd like to be in life. This is how you leap forward. Passion. ChatGPT describes passion as a willingness to put in the time, effort, and sacrifice to achieve something you truly care about. The story of Ping Pong the Animation is one of two friends, Smile and Peiko, and their journey as they battle through individual challenges in life and the sport of ping pong. Smile being the quiet and reserved one, leaked his passive demeanor into his gameplay, making them shy against tough opponents. Peiko, on the other hand, burst with natural talent, but his overconfidence deteriorated his drive to practice, and for this, he suffered greatly getting skunked by a foreign player, which is to lose without scoring any points, and later eviscerated by a player he considered much weaker than himself. What the hell? That was cheap. You're not attacking back. It's all just blocks and lobs. Hmm. Table tennis is an evolving game. Your approach is so outdated it belongs in a natural history museum. Every dream begins with a dreamer. We all have an idea of what we'd like to do in life, an inkling or a fading dream. Peiko wanted to be the best ping pong player in the world, but the humiliating defeats took him to a very low low in life, with him quitting the sport entirely. Smile on the other hand held great talent for the sport which he was unaware of. He was talented enough for the elites of the sport to take notice of him, but having no drive to be the best. No spirit to chase wins, he held back. He had no aspiration to be anything. In his head, he was just an average Joe who wanted to waste some time and then die someday. If that is the life you choose for yourself, so be it. You miss out on the joys of finding out how far you could have went. And when you're 70, 80, 90 years old with nothing to your name, no achievements, no glory, just a mirage of an existence, I wonder what your thoughts would be then as you ferment on your deathbed. Passion is often found in sparks, and the most passionate people can light up the world. We often call these individuals heroes. They're people who've come up with an ideal and lived relentlessly to make those ideals their reality. So how do you begin sparking? Purpose. The intended function or role of a particular object or system. The value of purpose is infinite. It's who you are at your core. We all know our purpose, or at the very least, where to start. Where does your heart gravitate to? What do you constantly dream of when you're bored? When we don't live up to our purpose, it nags at us and we get the feeling of our souls being drained. A purposeless life will deteriorate your health and confidence. It will place you in uncomfortable situations. And it will even have you coping with addictive vices to numb the pain of not being good enough. The only way to stop your bad habits is to replace them with something better. It's a suffocating ride that drives people crazy. To find your purpose, ask yourself this question. What would I do every day for the rest of my life if money was not a problem? Mr. Skimoto, I want you training with me every day before school from now on, 5 a.m. You lack a thirst to win and we have to fix that before championships because if there's anything a true competitor needs, it's fighting spirit. What's a teacher with no one to teach? A coach with no one to coach? Out of all the characters in Ping Pong the Animation, the one I was drawn to the most was Coach Joe. Kong Wang was a close second, but for this video, I want to focus on Joe because he was someone very much on his purpose. Having played professionally himself, he had the eyes to see players' strengths and weaknesses. More importantly, he knew what he wanted as a coach and took steps to make his ideal a reality. Nothing comes free in this life. 
and people only do what they feel like doing. I'll say that again. People only do what they feel like doing. For you to have clicked on this video, I had to grab your attention. I had to make you feel like watching it would improve your life. That was the trade-off. So how does a coach with no one to coach get a willing and passionate student eager for his guidance? He had to show Smile how truly weak he was, and through that, Smile found a purpose, a new ideal, a challenge worth taking. And you can do the same thing. The biggest step is getting real with your life. Admit you're not where you want to be, then ask yourself, what does the person I'm trying to become do? For your sake, I hope you're writing this down. Whatever the person you're trying to become does, spend two minutes doing that every day. In his book, Getting Things Done, David Allen offered the two minute rule. This rule seeks to banish procrastination from your life. It sounds stupid, but it takes about 20 days to build a habit. Spending two minutes on a task might not seem like much, but as you build familiarity with the task, you will eventually start spending more and more time. Just make it a rule to do your thing, whatever it is, daily. No excuses. It's only two minutes. The next step for success as you progress in your endeavors is to begin packaging your talents in a way that gets people to interact with it. Not everyone has a coach Joe in their life. Just keep in mind, you won't know everything at the start because all of this is a learning experience. Pick what you want to master and then begin taking action. Your results will always define the quality of work you put in much more than the quantity. Take the time, sit with yourself and reflect. You can turn anything into a business nowadays if you know how to create quality content and garner an audience. Hard work or in this case, taking action. What does a solid ping pong player need? One, they've got to be good on their feet. Two, they need mastery over the paddle. Three, they must be able to judge the spin on the ball. Four, they must have an unwavering will. None of these skills are instilled within people naturally. You didn't come out of the womb with a ping pong paddle, and you surely don't fucking run every day. All life is is practice. The way you play ping pong, the way you play chess, the way you play your video games, all down to your room. It's all a reflection of your conscience. So take care of yourself. Do the thing you know you should be doing, even if it's only two minutes a day. As you develop and begin finding your stride, those around you will notice. You will find yourself in conversations or around people who want to get to know you. And your story will spread like wildfire. And at the end of it all, when you decide to hang it up, or in your final moments on your deathbed, you can turn to look over your shoulder and expect not the face of regret, but the sweet memories of a life well lived. From its naturalistic art style to its writing and intro, Ping Pong the Animation is a story that seeks to teach us the value of passion, purpose, and hard work. So I'm not sure who you are. Maybe I speak in riddles, but do yourself a favor and catch this show when you're bored. It's 11 episodes short, and it's a beautiful way to catch perspective. Welcome back, son. Where'd you run off to? No, I really just wandered around. I see. Have you been waiting this whole time? I've told you a million times a coach's job only has meaning when he's got an athlete to train. 